I think it's always good to have a coach trying to get you guys fired up before the season starts. You're going to get a lot of techniques today, but um, I'm going to show you guys skills and drills this morning, things that you can implement into your room. I was always, as a coach, looking for new stuff, uh, not necessarily just proper technique, but looking for new drills that I can switch it up a little bit, get some fresh stuff going for our kids, things that you, know, things that you can use not only just in the beginning of the year, but mid-season, and then types of philosophies where these drills will, will kind of come into place. Um, I know most of you guys, if not all of you guys, have been around this, this shore area, still live in town and stuff. I brought a Wisconsin boy here. He's a four-time state champ out of Wisconsin. This is Zach Sabula. He um, missed the workout this morning, so we're going to put him through one. And um, conference champion for us, national qualifier. He's a fifth-year senior, so uh, he kind of knows the ropes. So that's Zach. I'm gonna go through a lot of these drills if you guys would just take them and pass them around. All right. <laughs> First thing I wanna talk about is clearing ties with your athletes. Uh, we'll just walk into a room and we'll start playing around with some of our guys and we're just gonna clear collar ties right, left. Zach's gonna go here, comes back this way, clearing ties, pushing the elbow down. I'm moving my feet, comes back, bam, there we go. I come back with the same players. Nice. Boom. Yes. Good. Good. Basically, just getting them off the collar, moving your feet. The goal is to get that elbow down. Okay? It's an outside push with this foot, and it comes here. You kind of cross step, your head hits. You take it to a single, you're right in. So you go same way. Get it off the collar and then just pick it up. So then we'll just go here. We'll pick up a single, secure the position. Come back this way. Pick it up, secure the position. Bam. Pick it up. Zach goes. Nice. Good head position. Watch his head. Bam, right there. It, it sits right behind that armpit. Here. Use it as a battery ram to knock him off. Then you take it to a finish. So you open up your drills. We go here, slide, shoot that shoulder, get that second foot. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go again. Here, pick this up. Everybody wants to go backwards, right? Watch that cop. Which is better? Forward. All right, he'd rather go forward. Too many other athletes take these guys this way. I see it like this. Okay, that's better for him than this. Look at his balance. So what do you want to do after a shot? Go forward. Okay, so if we go here, single up, guys, right now, don't stop your motion. Take them forward, keep going forward. Get things out of the way. On that finish, we guide, step, come off our back foot, hit, shoot that shoulder. You see me slip it low? It takes away Zach's opportunity to square up. It takes away his defense. I find it's difficult to finish here. You guys are kinds of pains in the asses up here. You guys with good balance. You start playing with your hands. I'm trying to move them, trying to go forward. I don't have it. We like to go here, here, slide. You put that hamstring right across your chest, big step. Big step. Goes down. Takes it away. My defense is gone. Go again. I can't find him. I'm looking for a wizard. And for us, I'll shoot laces. You get that takedown. You guys are going to have to work up. All right? Any questions on that? And that starts with just walking in the room, getting rid of things. Next one I think is just a clear tie drill. Real simple, my job is to just put my hand on my opponent. His job is to clear it. So I'm just gonna be kind of stubborn and get my hands on Zach. It's my job only. His job is to clear that tie and get a pull. So here I go. Do every time he 
time he clears a tie? What does he do? What does he do every time he clears a tie? I can't hear you. He pulls. What does he do with his feet? You gotta emphasize that to your guys. A lot of times being in high school, you see a one-two punch and they leave their feet. Knee pound. Boom! Right there. Okay? You gotta get them the concept of clearness and movement. There's my angle. Okay, everything works from your feet. Your upper body is only as strong as it can be, but the pull doesn't come from your arms. And you see a lot of our athletes go here, pull, but nothing moves. Zach will tell you, you just saw him, he was throwing me all over the place, that when my feet move, that's when you become real strong. I'm trying to break position to score. The other guy's goal is just to survive and get his hands high. Go again, go. one-two punch. A lot of times that one hand is in your face. Guys are here, or guys are here. So he's going to clear this tie here and pull at the same time. It's ridiculous how much weight goes to my feet. Watch it again. It's one-two clear. Bam, bam. And my hands go, and I can't find them. So we'll work on that a lot. Clear that one-two again. When I try to come back up, okay, when I'm recovering, Zach's looking to shoot. One, two, go. Go. Bam. Nice. Good lift. All right? Ready? Go. One, two, clear. I can't find him. My hands come high. He's already through my hips. Any questions on that? Next drill, number three. We, um... We like to use it when like, we're trying to get a sweat practice. We call it shots and walls. And you guys can dictate anything you want in your practice rooms. Um, you're struggling on a shot, this is a great opportunity to use it. You're not happy with your technique, this is a great opportunity to use it. We call it shots and walls. We're walled in, and I'm at your practice rooms. If you are, if not, just sprint to the end of the uh, mat. So I'll say, I don't know, Zach, three high crotches, three walls. Ready? Go. <coughs> Go. He gets one, and I'm bouncing. Two. Three. He comes back. My go. And then I sprint, but I ain't. <laughs> One, two, three. You like it? Do it again. You're satisfied with it? Move on. Swing single. You do this for 20 minutes, and what happens at the end of 20? You're so. You know, we don't believe in layering it up. I know you guys have your weight restrictions. I know your kids stick at cutting weight. We try to keep your uh, try to keep less on you and work you harder. I don't know. Philosophy seems to work. Um, kids come in all sweated up, too much gear on. They're worried about cutting weight, not worried about getting better. Does that make sense? We try to eliminate that in our rooms. You're not allowed. Everything's issued, so if you don't come with anything issued, you're gone. That's just the way it goes. Um, when they get in the room, those sweat practices are usually an hour. That's a drill we like to use for the first 15, 20. Um, guys, you can use whatever you want. Three, three snap spins, three snaps to a cement. Go! All right, good, okay, three low singles, go! No, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do for that particular drill will definitely help in that capacity. Any questions on that? All right, this one's a bitch. <laughs> and we call this five for five. And this we like to use when it's a high intensity type drill. And I don't know about you guys, but most of us competed when your coach yelled out, 15 high crotches, what did you do? Oh shit. Look familiar? Okay. Try to keep the number small and the efficiency rate high. 
and it allows guys to actually have a goal. So we go 5-5, five, 4-4, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. My partner's as important as I am in this drill. We trade shots, and it keeps us at a high intensity rate while you guys are walking the room. All right, nice job, get another. You're barking at them, they feel good about what they're doing, and say, all right, give me 20 doubles. And they're like this. You learn to love drilling when you get older. Agreed? Yeah. Okay, this guy would rather drill for an hour and a half so he can beat and wrestle live for an hour and a half. You agree with that? All right. In high school, I always found that different. Everybody wanted to wrestle live in high school. So you have to find innovative ways to get them to drill without ever even having them think about how sucky it actually is. You guys agree with that? Because every time I had kids in high school and I did it for 10 years, they didn't want to drill. So you force them to drill, and that never seemed to work either. Right? So we go, uh, here, you can kill me with doubles. Thank we'll go five. Oh. Nice. Oh, here we go. Two. Three. Four. Get it. Nice. Five. number you're looking for with high efficiency. You guys agree? Absolutely. You can do it as long as you want. You can get through your core, your core offense with a five down drill like that and the efficiency is good. I've seen it. I think it works great. We love it. Would you rather do five or 15? Yeah, five. And those are five good doubles. Agree? All right, so my stomach feels like those are good five, five good doubles. All right, the other thing I want to make note, what Zach does really well, and what we try to preach is, when you're drilling, stay connected. Um, I find a lot of times our high school kids like to wander. They take a shot. Three minutes later, they take another shot. You ever notice that? So they'll go, they'll go say, we'll go double again. Here, I hit, finish. They go like this, I don't know why. Look around, then they get back in, okay? When Zach drills, and what we try to do at Ryder is stay on the guy. Don't necessarily not let him get up, but make sure he feels you, so your hands have to constantly be on him. And Zach and I did that, but I think it's important for you to see it, so that you understand what we mean. Because when we're on our offense in our, our matches and we're competing, we want to make sure we stay on our offense and constantly have our hands on our opponents and not let them breathe. That's the philosophy at the Division One level. As soon as that guy has an opportunity to recover, he's back in the game. So go swing single, hands on. Do three. See his hands? See his hands? I face. Bam! Right there. Nice. Hands, hands, hands. Nice. Tough to get kids to do that. Some of you already do, I'm sure. It's very important. All right, you guys see that philosophy? What it does is it gets Zach to concentrate and hone in. And that's important. I always found the wandering driller. You know what I'm talking about? That guy that just doesn't want to lock into it, He's looking around, looking for ways out, thinking about his, how tired he is. In this sport, your partner is only as good as you are. And if you can get that understanding of how I need Zach as Zach needs me, then your drilling gets better. Any questions on that drill? And like Dan said, whatever you want to work on. Our core, and I think most everybody's is, is your head outside single, that's a high crotch, is your head inside single, it's your double, and your snap spin. We feel that all other offenses come off of those four shots, 
and that will run through our core five down. And you're sweating. It's pretty good. Okay. 